Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Just Us, and today I'm back with another video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell so you can be notified when I upload. Okay, so as you can tell by the title, today we are making a birthday confetti cake sugar scrub. So the way I'm going to be making this scrub is a bit different from how you always make a sugar scrub. Um, it's like a emulsified sugar scrub, but without the wax. So here I have my cane sugar. I'm going to go through my sugar with my spatula just to make sure it's no lumps of sugar stuck together. So that way when I mix everything together, it blends well. Okay y'all, in my next bowl I have my oils which are avocado oil, grapeseed oil, and safari oil. These are some of my favorite oils to use because of the amazing benefits for your skin such as reducing the appearance of scars, adding hydration to dry skin, even in the skin tone. I like these oils because once you rinse off your sugar scrub, it doesn't leave a thick oily residue on the top of your skin. Next, I'm gonna be adding vegetable glycerin. Vegetable glycerin helps soothe skin irritation and it also works as a moisturizer while it also hydrates your skin. Okay, so now I'm going to be adding in my vitamin E oil. I'm going to be using my pipette just to add a few drops. Now I'm going to be adding in my shower gel and bubble bath base. I got this from Hobby Lobby for about $10. I'm going to be adding this to my oil mixture. Um, this is what makes the body butter different, so you will be using this instead of emulsifying wax. This is basically the way I make it, but without the wax. Okay guys, so once I add this inside the oil, I'm going to mix the soap base and the oils together. I'm going to mix it really well to make sure everything is combined. Okay guys, next up, I'm gonna be adding in my fragrance oil. I got this from Nature Garden. It is Happy Birthday Vanilla Cupcake. I absolutely love this oil. Um, it's not too overpowering. It doesn't have like a chemical smell. It actually smells like vanilla cupcakes. Like it's just a light scent that I love. I'm gonna be adding this in with my pipette. I'm gonna make sure this gets mixed in well with my soap base. And definitely check out Nature's Garden for all your fragrance oils. They have so many to choose from. Next, I'm going to be adding in my preservative. You guys need a preservative for your sugar scrubs because it is going to come in contact with water. And you don't want it to start growing bacteria. So make sure you put in a preservative. Now I'm going to be adding in my pink mica powder. You guys can use whatever color you want. It's your scrub. Leave a comment down below and tell me what color you will use for a birthday cake scrub. I never had a pink birthday cake, so I decided to make it pink. And that's the name of my scrub, my scrub page, Pink Honey Pie. I will leave the Instagram down below so you guys can check me out. So I'm adding this into my soap base. I'm going to give this a good mix to be break up all of those clumps of mica powder that I have sitting in there. So once I put it into the sugar, everything can combine well. Thank you. 
Okay, so once I have the color all mixed into the soap base, I'm then going to add the soap base to my sugar. I'm going to start out with a little amount at a time so I can have the perfect texture of the sugar scrub. So I'm going to mix this in really well because I want everything to be nice and mixed. Okay, so once you keep mixing, you will notice that the color starts to be a bit lighter. Um, I actually like this. It's giving very much strawberry cake. Okay, guys, so look at this texture. I absolutely love this texture. It's giving very much emulsified sugar scrub without the wax. I love it. It's, it has like almost like a foaming to it also. Okay, so now I'm going to be adding in my sprinkles. These are soap sprinkles. I got this from Hobby Lobby. Um, I mostly get everything from Hobby Lobby. Like, that's a one-stop shop for me. So I'm going to be adding this in. Watch me struggle opening it. I'm going to be adding this in to my, um, my sugar scrub mixture. Um, it, it doesn't run off inside of the, the mixture. Um, I don't know. I like it, but I maybe maybe I should have added more. I did add a lot. So if you're making like a big batch of this, I don't know. You should I don't, buy it from somewhere else because I added a lot in there for one jar. And you can see it, but not how you're supposed to. So I don't know. Just be be careful with how much you add before you um, you package everything together. So now I'm showing y'all my little Amazon jars. Um, if you made it this far in the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you subscribe to me, that lets me know that you like my videos and I can keep uploading more content for you. Right now, I am just packaging this. So I'm just be quiet and let y'all watch me put this inside the jar. Okay, so now I'm going to be adding some sprinkles on the top. Um, I'm just doing this for the purpose of me taking pictures and getting a nice picture for my thumbnail. Um, I absolutely love this scrub. It is so much easier to make than a emulsified sugar scrub. Um, I like it when I use it in the shower also because it's easy to handle and it's not like creating a big mess in your shower. Like um, the sugar and oils mixed together. Like, I don't know. That's the old way I used to do it. But now I'm making it like this. Um, this was so pretty. It was like, my daughter thought it was slime actually, <laughs> but it is so nice. You guys should definitely try and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel, please. If you like and you comment and you subscribe, I know that I should upload more videos. Like I'm giving you guys inspiration for your business. Like, come on, who else is gonna do it like this? Nobody. Thank you. So please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.